Now, the latest from the Trump nominee to lead Health and Human Services, RFK Jr. Uh, is this something that you and uh, this something that the administration is definitely going to do? Recommend against fluoride. Uh, yes, <laughs> that's something that the administration will do. Hey, bud, uh, what are you watching? This RFK Jr. guy says that fluoride in our water system should be removed, that we don't need it anymore, and it's causing neurological development and loss of IQ in children. Uh, that all seems really bad. Is any of it true? Well, here's what we know. Fluoride has been added to public drinking water systems since the 1940s. It's cheap and has drastically reduced cavities. The CDC even dubbed it one of the greatest public health interventions of the 20th century. Okay, but if we're getting fluoride from toothpaste now, like RFK Jr. says, isn't that enough? Well, sure. So long as you aren't eating a diet with a lot of carbs and a lot of sugars, and you brush your teeth twice a day with fluoride toothpaste, then you should be fine. Otherwise, well, you may really need that water fluoride. Okay, but what about this connection to health problems in kids? This is where I come in. Wait, who are you? I'm a researcher looking at fluoride exposure, and I'm here to tell you some recent studies and reviews are showing an association between high fluoride exposure and both neurological and IQ declines in children. In some cases, the fluoride levels measured are more than twice what we find here in the U.S., but the findings are enough to give some researchers, like me, pause. So what should we do? If we get rid of it, more people are definitely going to get cavities. I mean, just brush your teeth with fluoride toothpaste twice a day. More studies are needed. More studies are needed. Now, hang on. I have to brush my teeth twice a day? Yes. I should, I should go brush my teeth, huh?